so here's the car um, it's a 2000 uh, Acura Integra Type R um, I got this car about 10 years ago uh, 11 years ago it's been very very uh, very good to me uh, it's been up and down you know um, so what happened now is um, I swapped the engine I had a B18 um, B18C ITR JDM Type R um, and it was running good it was running really good uh, I, decided, I decided to uh, you know I wanted a little bit more power but at the same time I wanted to keep the B-Series uh, in the car because that's what it comes with from factory and you know decided to uh, just get a little bit more horsepower so um, I end up getting my hands on a fully built uh, four piston engine uh, I can tell you more about that story but uh, I just want you guys to see the car I'm gonna try to on this video post a couple of the pulls that I did um, it, it was a headache you know with the um, decided to go with field tech uh, 550 uh, I'm not a I wasn't super super um, you know I didn't have a lot of information on it so um, I ended up getting a custom uh, wire harness I actually purchased one from fuel tech uh, that it was already terminated but it ended up being the wrong one so um, I sent it to a, uh, to a place where I got a custom wire harness done uh, it was also hard to find uh, uh, the plate to mount the 550 on the cluster um, show you guys the interior um, pretty much all stock Rocaro seats uh, full uh, interior and really good shape everything is really really clean on this car but um, uh, yeah so these have to come from um, Australia uh, there might be places where you can buy it now um, it's a vessel for a 550 uh, the Nano so um, yeah I have to wait like three months but you know this whole process um, it was, uh, you know, a learning experience, and if I can share that with you guys, or some of you guys that are, you know, interesting on going fuel tech, in in my um, in my setup, I could have went uh, Honda Ara S300, you know, uh, nothing crazy, but I decided that I didn't want to, you know, I, I just want to give the tuner everything as far as you know options, and I reach out to uh, Eric. Yo Solo, uh, here in Newark, New Jersey. That's where we, uh, I, I live in Jersey. He lives up north, or more uh, central Jersey. But uh, yeah, he recommended either um, Fuel Tech, uh, Honda Ara, or uh, Infinity uh, AEM. So we end up going with the Fuel Tech. Um, again, uh, cam trigger. Um, so no more uh, crank sensor. This is what reads the uh, the position of the uh, you know the uh, crank uh, completely uh, got rid of the uh, distributor so now we got coils um, ITVs um, Kingsley so that's all nice and you know chase base uh, a power steering delete chase base uh, fuel regulator um, we got custom headers um, if you haven't, uh, I'm sure you guys haven't seen anything, uh, you know, same identicals, that's because they were custom made. Um, again, uh, the piston is fully built for uh, 84 millimeters lead block, 12 by to one compression. Um, it's got full Ferrera, ball train, uh, tuners, three cams, camshafts. Uh, we got some stuff from uh, Speed Factory. We got the transmission. I sent it to uh, Tall Pines Racing in uh, Carolina. Uh, super nice dude. Super, super, super nice. Very easy to work with. Transmission's shifting like butter. Uh, we put a uh, M Factory LSD the uh, diff. And we put a 4.9 uh, final drive and LS5 gear for the highway. Um, so everything is pretty much you know set and it's been running i had a tune already but again guys it was uh certain things were not working right um i was able to drive the car i just had a full custom um well it was from a speed factory but there was a couple of things uh let me just hook this thing 
um, it was the full uh, cap back from uh, Speed Factory, but uh, my uh, my man uh, Lewis uh, hooked me up and uh, kept, got me a, a, a three inch cut out. Um, so now that's all all the way from here. That that's a two and a half uh, flange, and then it goes to the uh, the three inch. So that way it goes three inch all the way to the back. Before we had a two and a half, that it was kind of old. So end up just replacing the entire thing. I'll show you guys the back. Yep, a speed factory. Let me just show you the, anything on underneath. Again, there, there you guys can see, so you guys have an idea. Uh, it's all uh, full three inch uh, with the cutout um, I want to see I want to keep the cutout uh, tomorrow we actually going for a dyno session with uh, Yo Solo so we're gonna I want to test it I want to see what it's going to do with the test the cutout uh, close and then with the cutout open if it makes the same power we're just going to get rid of the cutout that way you know it's not super loud but uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow guys um, I had a very 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 difficult time get the uh, speed sensors to work that's when last time i was uh, at the dyno session he couldn't get the traction control and the two-step work because we need to get the uh, we need to get the speed uh, sensors working so that took to be honest with you guys time months because uh, i replaced them with uh, different um, speed sensors uh, from uh, the same place uh, I was like, what are the chances of they being defective? Um, I took it to a shop. They did all the wiring testing. Uh, they pretty much uh, did uh, everything they could, and they find out that you know um, it was the speed sensors himself. Uh, the speed sensors that are here now are um, from uh, uh, Tri-State. We pick them up. Well, the guy from the shop, uh, Louis, actually hooked me up, and he picked them up. Um, uh, they are working really good they completely different style you, they, they have like a led light yeah you know if you lift the car spin the wheel you can actually see them blinking knowing that it's working and you can read the miles per hour inside so that's good so tomorrow uh we're gonna do a second map so far we're 293 um and you know tomorrow we should be able to well, do it again 93 with two-step traction control and uh, we also gonna do a second map with uh, a E85 that I just purchased uh, yesterday. So I just got it yesterday. Uh, he actually, actually texted me yesterday. He told me to come by uh, Monday because he's going for vacation. So we took that opening that he had for us. So that was pretty cool. Um, if you guys are interested in watching and following up this process, uh, definitely you know if you got any questions, if you know. Um, you know, tomorrow we'll, we'll definitely post a video of the dyno, see what it made, and uh, keep you guys posted. Um, I want to make some more videos of, you know, this car. And uh, if you guys like what you're seeing, um, definitely like to share um, pretty much all. I got so much, so much stuff that I record. But again, guys, it's been probably two years since I last uploaded a video. We still have the car. This is the same car I've been having, you know, for, again, about 11 years. So, um, yeah, everything is uh, hopefully ready for tomorrow. Um, considering towing it, I might be just driving it. He's about 45 minutes to an hour uh, from my house. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm going to start it up for you guys too.